All right, so in these problems, we're gonna be using the same two curves, square root of x plus two, so square root and then x plus two on the inside, that's this red curve, and then e to the x, which is this blue curve. Note that these two points of intersection are just eyeball. These are not precise. Uh, in the video where I'm actually solving the problems, you'll see the actual points of intersection. So just note that these are just eyeballed. It, it, there's no chance that these are actually precise, unless I got very, very lucky. So here we're gonna be revolving this about the line y equals negative two. So just to orient ourselves, x-axis, y-axis, one point of intersection seems to be at negative one point some change, and then another point of intersection seems to be about 0 0.4, roughly. Again, these are not exact. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the y-axis, and then this is negative one point something, this is 0 0.446. And we're spinning it about y equals negative two. So it's a horizontal line through negative two. Let's spin this. Now, what I want you to observe is Right about there, I'll pause. This region is coming out of the screen towards you, but this is all empty space. So I'm gonna back it up a bit. This is the region that's been spun and the axis of rotation is way down here. So you're almost going to have like an empty crown. So the crown goes on your head, it has a wall, the wall has a thickness, the, or the crown itself has a thickness, but uh, imagine putting like a burger head crown on your head. It's not completely solid. It has a hole in the middle. So that's what I'm trying to get across here. I'm going to go to halfway through and then stop there and then spin this thing around. So if I were to change perspective here, this is from the bottom looking in. This is our normal perspective. And now I'm looking at it from the right side of the computer monitor. So if I were to look from this perspective, you'll notice that this region has volume, the green portion, but this is all empty space. And if I were to continue to generate the volume, I'm going behind the screen and then up through it. So here, the, the empty space is hopefully a little bit more obvious. Uh, and you can see from the shaded region, this is where the volume is, and then this portion in the middle is all carved out, or that, that's hollow space. And if I were to change the perspective, this is looking at it from the bottom up. And if I spin it back the other way, this is looking at it from, oops, oh, calm down. This is looking at it from the top-down perspective, roughly speaking. I won't be able to get it exactly perfect, but you get the idea. And then this is from the side. So here you can see clearly that there's you know, uh, black space. This is not uh, perfectly solid. Solid. Um, you can think of it as a, a squashed donut almost. Let's look at the same exact curves, uh, square root of x plus 2, e to the x. But instead of y equals negative 2, what happens if we spin it about y equals 2? So instead of going down, this will come up this way. And again, you're going to see that this is hollow. And then this dark uh, shaded region and this dark shaded region or where you see the shadows, that is actually the solid wall. So if I spin it around, you should start to see the hole right about there. And then if I spin it back the other way, so this is the smaller hole, and then this is the larger hole from the front. Let me take it back and then create it again. So that region is coming out of the screen there, and then going back onto the screen somewhere there, and then behind the screen, and then behind again. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's spin it about some vertical axes. So same region, but now we're spinning it about x equals negative three. So that's a vertical line. So this is going to go like way over here and then come back around. This will go over here, come back around. But here, hopefully you'll see that there's empty space and here there's empty space as well. So let's spin it. 
coming out towards you. This is directly coming out of the screen towards you, 90 degrees. And then if I continue spinning, this is off to the left of the screen. And then I can continue spinning. This is directly behind the axis of rotation. And then this is all the way through. So if I were to change the perspective here, and let me make it a little bit smaller. It's almost like a bowl with the bottom cut out. So imagine you took a bowl uh, and then you drilled a hole in the bottom. So this is all empty space. And then the only place where you have a thickness is basically the wall itself. And then the last one is same region, but spun about x equals one. So instead of x equals negative three, if we spin it about x equals one, you'll see that it's almost like the, uh, the bowl with the base cut out, but flipped upside down. So this top circle will be a smaller one, and this bottom circle will be the much larger one. And then back the other way. So hopefully you can see that this piece is actually, or this region is behind the screen. This portion is out of the screen coming towards you. And if I change the perspective slightly, you'll see that it straightens out. But if I keep it tilted this way, you can kind of sort of see if I go back, which region is coming out. So this is the region that's coming out towards you. And then about there is where it's coming out of the right side of your screen. And now it's going to start going behind the screen itself. So this is behind your computer screen. And then comes back and makes a hole. Now, if I spin this around, uh, you can think of this as the bowl that we had that had the base cut off and then the, the large circle is placed on the kitchen counter and then the small circle is up top. So if I spin it, you'll see the circle from the top and if I spin it the other way, you'll also see the circle. Now, this one's a little bit harder to see, but this is the really, really wide part down below and then there's a hollow in the middle. And this is the view from the side.